Hi everyone, it's Ella Rose here again. This is another one that was shared yesterday by a sub that I subbed to. And I have to share this to some of my other friends out there that like to dig in some research. So when you click on get all the behaviours, so your businesses and there was the COVID one here. So basically, it, it's it's just linking everything up, planning of how they want everything set up. So under the human rights and civil society values, I uh, can't quite read some of these words. You know, intellect and economy, corporate governance, global governance, civil participation, future of media, entertainment and culture. Inclusive design, our world governance, sustainable development, and corruption. So, there are technologies impacts on human rights. Go uh, justice and law, fourth industrial revolution, workforce and employment, digital economy and society, digital commerce, communications. Future of computing, artificial intelligence and robotics, and then international security. So the justice and law. So it just goes into a big web. So to all those other, you know, subscribers that love to dig into this stuff, I, the first time I clicked on the page, it allowed me to go in and see, <laughs> but now it's telling me to log up, log in or sign up, and I'm not logging in or signing up to these guys, no way. So if anyone's got to burn an email and a VPN that wants to go and do some research, have a go. Um, but yeah, let's, let's have a look what corruption is bringing in, does that go to, so before it had all these uh, different, when you had that bit, it had all these different areas and things that were going on, so the corruption one leads around with your global governance, international trade investment, private investors, in, in, for instruction or in, can't read that one, justice and law, sustainable development governance. Yeah, very, very interesting. So when you click on it, it'll bring up your different ones. Do you know you read, so when you look at links and then it's got how it you think, into your automotive, trade, banking, Switzerland, Australia, um, so there's, there's many different publications there. First detected in China in late 19, uh, 2010, declared a pandemic, threatens to become one of the most difficult tasks faced by humanity in modern history, as confirmed cases of spread it has the potential to make lives take lives, overwhelm health systems and trigger lasting geopolitical changes. The IMF says the global economy now faces its worst time downturn since the global depression. Oxfam International has warned that half a billion people could be pushed into poverty around the world. Desperate efforts are underway to contain what has become a profoundly uh, disruptive outbreak. So the key issues are there. And uh, all the different stories that they've got. The minute I click on something and come back to this page, it won't let me in. It'll tell me I have to log in. So I know there's some really smart people out there that like to dig in this stuff and have a look. Let's have a look and see where Australia goes on this one. Oh, of course, now it's not responding.
And of course, after I click on one of them, this is what I get. I have to look. Shows me the first one, but the minute I hit the back button, it tells me I've got to register and log. So in the global health, it's got these different ones here. An understandable development and universal coverage. Coverage. I want to thank um, Campbell for autodidactic from yesterday. And uh, I've been looking into it, but I'm just not going to register to get that. Let's see what they say the rule of law is with the UN. In 1945, the United Nations was three pillars international peace, insecurity, human rights, and development. Almost 75 years later, the political and social education. Modern society has brought us challenges and a peace which require collective response which must be guided by the rule of law, as it is the foundation of friendly and equitable relations between states and it's based on fair societies. So which rule of law is this, you know? The Magna Carta or, or what? For the UN system, rule of law is a principle of governance in which all persons, institutions and entities Public and private, including the state itself, are accountable to laws that are publicly proclamated, proclamated and equally forced, independently adjudicated, and which are consented to international human rights norms and standards. It requires measure to ensure adherence to the principles of supremacy of the law, equality, equality before the law, accountability to the law, fairness in the application of the law, Separation of powers, participation in decision making, legal certainty, avoiding avoidance of the arbitrariness and procedural and legal transparency. Yeah, well, I'm not even going to say my thoughts on that one. Bit of a hypocritical. Yeah. The rule of law is fundamental to international peace and security, political stability, to achieve economic and social progress and development, to protect people's rights, fundamental freedom. It is founded to prove, uh, to found, it's foundational to people's access to public services, curbing corruption, restraining the abuse of power, establishing the so social contract between people and the state. Wow. The rule of law and development are strongly interlinked and strengthened rule of law based society should be considered as an outcome of 2030 agenda and sustainable development goals. In addition, particular Goal 16 is an enabling goal for member states to generate national level policy changes that advance progress on their SDGs, yes, Sustainable Development Guides. Okay, so the member states have to do what the Sustainable Development says, or oh, they're not part of it. Development of inclusive and accountable justice systems and the rule of law reforms will provide quality services to people and build trust in the legitimacy of their government. This approach should respond to the needs of individuals and groups in their meaningful participation from the onset, paying particular attention to those historically marginalised at the risk of being left behind. It includes prevention of serious violations of human rights. Okay, yeah, okay. Achieving credible accountability for those responsible at the national and international levels and empowering individuals and communities to make use of justice mechanisms to protect their fundamental human rights. Rule of law is an important component of sustaining peace as advanced by the General Assembly and Security Council in twin res resolutions in the review of the peace building and architecture. Sustaining peace requires an integrated and comprehensive approach across the UN system based on the coherence of between political, security, development, human rights, gender equality and rule of law activities in support of a member-led, state-led efforts. Strengthening the rule of law involves respect for the norms of international law, including the use of force and recognition of the primary responsibility of the states to protect their populations from genocide, crimes against humanity, ethnic cleansing and war crimes. The rule of law is a core element of the humanitarian and human rights agendas, is crucial to understanding and addressing the reasons for displacement and statelessness and the foundation of the humanitarian protection regime.
Rural law issues include emerging and critical issues such as the proliferation of hate speech and the indictment to violence preventing radicalization, violent extremism, climate change and the environment impacting on the security and livelihoods of people and complexes of artificial intelligence and cyber crime. I'm not going to play this. If you want to play this, I'll leave the links in the description. So I'm not even going to say what my thoughts are because I'll, I'll get this striked. But there you are. It's there. It's on their own little page. So thank you for watching. If there's any sound issues with this video, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, if there's any sound issues, I apologize for that. And I'll leave a link for Campbell's autodidactic channel in the description as well. I'd like everyone to have a fantastic day evening night wherever you are thanks for watching oh hang on i'll check out what this goal six more ago hang on okay so, so high levels of armed conflict and insecurity have a destructive impact on the country's development affecting economic growth growth and resulting in longing grievances well some regions have fall fall into seamlessly endless cycles of violence and conflicts others are enjoying a standard sustained level of peace security and prosperity by no means the first should be left behind at the core of the 2030 agenda lies a clear understanding that human rights peace security and development are deeply interlinked and mutually reinforcing though it's entirely the importance of enhancing Access to justice, ensuring safety and security and principles of sustainable development are reflected. Well, Sustainable Development Goal 16 marks the interstate intersection between sustaining peace and the 23rd Agenda. During the past years, many parties within the United Nations have progressively described how the rule of law and human rights are imperative to achieving and sustaining peace as well as to realising the vision now set for some sustainable goal developments, development goals. As described in the 2016 UNDP annual report on the rule of law and human rights, sustainable development goal 16 for peaceful, just and inclusive societies ushers in the new kind of development where people could influence a decision that affects their lives and create communities that thrive. SDG 16 articles, the key roles that governance and rule will play in promoting peaceful societies and ensuring sustainable development. I thought that's what a democratic society already was. The threats of international homicide, violence against children, human trafficking and sexual violence are important to address and promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. They paved the way for progress to justice for all and for building effective accounting institutions at all levels. While homicide and trafficking cases have been significant progress in the over the past decade, there are still thousands of people at greater risk under intense in America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and around Asia. Children's rights violations through aggression, sexual violence continue to plague many countries around the world, especially as underreporting as a lack of data aggravates the problem. To tackle these challenges and build a more peaceful, inclusive society, there needs to be more efficient and transparent. One of the first steps towards protecting the individual rights is the implementation of worldwide birth registration. Oh my goodness. Oh. And the creation of a more independent national human rights institutions around the world. Goal 16 aims to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. So, Goal 16 targets significantly reduce all forms of violence and related death rates everywhere, and abuse, exploitation, traffic in all forms of violence against and torture of children, promote the rule of law at the national and international levels and ensure equal access to justice for all, by 2030, significantly reduce elite financial and arms flows, strengthen and re the recovery and return of stolen assets, and combat all, all forms of all, and combat all forms of organized crime. <laughs> so, 
sustainably reduce corruption and bribery in all their forms, develop effective, accountable, transparent institutions at all levels, ensure a responsive, inclusive, participatory and representative decision-making at all levels, broaden and strengthen the participation of developing countries in the institution of, of the global governance, by 2030, provide legal identity for all, including birth registration. Now, we know where that's heading, don't we? I'm not even going to say it. To ensure public access to information and protect fundamental freedoms in accordance with national legislation, international agreements, strengthen the relevant national institutions, including the international cooperation for building capacity at all levels, in particular the different countries, to prevent violence and combat terrorism and crime, promote and enforce non-discriminatory laws, pro policies for sustainable development. So, yeah, that's that one. All right. Thanks again, guys. Cheers. Bye.